Hello everybody, in this Keyshot video demo, I would like to show what are the things that we can do in order to improve the realism of this scene. Okay, let's start. Okay, let me turn on the geometry view and uh, turn on the performance mode, okay? Okay, if we zoom in onto the mouse side, we can see that the edges of the parts are very sharp, okay? And this gives a feeling of thickness because in the real world, we do not have uh, stuff that are entirely uh, sharp. So, what we need to do is to provide some kind of a fillet on the edges so that they are able to catch the highlights and thus enhance the realism. Okay, so I'm going to the scene uh, section and select the parts of the mouse. Okay, I'm going to press the control key to do multiple selection that will be uh, given uh, radiuses around the edge. Okay, so um, I selected this stuff and you can scroll down. I can see that there's a section called rounded edges and we can give a radius value. Okay, so I think I want to give a value of uh, 0.7. Enter. And yeah, you can see immediately that some kind of... Uh, Filleting effect has been uh, implemented on the model and this has uh, enhanced the realism of it. Okay, you can see over here a uh, highlights has been uh, shown and over here you can see as well. So these are uh, enhanced the realism. Okay. Okay, the next thing uh, we can do is to adjust the brightness of the scene and I'm going to do that using the environment setting the brightness. Okay, so maybe I'll give a brightness of, uh, I don't know, uh, 2. Okay, yeah, so you can see now uh, it's uh, bright, brighter. The other thing that's uh, making this scene look uh, unreal is the sharpness of this edge over here. Okay, so uh, everything in this scene is actually uh, in sharp focus, but in reality, mm, depending on the camera setting, um, objects that are further away may be blurred, okay? And we can simulate the, the blurriness of the distant object by using the depth of view. Okay, so we can go to the camera section and turn on the depth of view. Okay, there's a depth of view over here, just enable it. And you can see that uh, the whole image is blurred. But uh, we want this part to be in focus, so I'm going to uh, click on this icon and click on uh, this area here to set this area to be in focus. Okay. But you notice that the surrounding area is too, too blur. So that's because uh, the f-stop is um, too low. So I'm going to give a higher f-stop value. Let's say I give a value of 10. See how it goes. Okay. It seems to be better. Okay, so uh, you can see that this, these are edges are uh, blurred off and this part is set to be in focus. In fact, I can give a bigger value. Let's say uh, 14. Okay. To have uh, more more parts in, in focus okay I click the done okay the other thing that we can do to uh, enhance it further is to uh, have this part set to be bright whereas the other uh, areas at the corner to be slightly darkened to simulate the uh, lens effect called vignetting. Okay, to do that, I can go to the image, go to uh, vignette. Okay, click on the vignette, and you can adjust the vignette strength. So, okay, so we can adjust the vignette strength. Okay, you can see that now uh, this uh, region is in focus while the rest of the region uh, is darkened. To simulate the vignetting effect 
of uh, lens okay and if you want to do uh, further adjustments to the exposure you can go to either basic or the photographic section and adjust things like the tone mapping or the curves okay so maybe i'll just see whether we can do anything to uh, improve the exposure and you also can click on the curves to do some adjustments over here but i don't think i want to touch any of this okay Okay, I think with that I come to the end of uh, this um, demo. Hope that's been useful to you. See you around. Bye.